So today I'm going to film a get ready with me holiday Christmassy makeup look. I have my tassel earrings on, so much fun. I have this lace top on, which I'm a huge lace person this time of year because it's very ladylike and feminine, but also a little like Dolce Gabbana, kind of Italian, Dolce Vita, I love that. Anything that reminds me of Sophia Loren, who's one of my huge style icons. So this video is going to be step-by-step -step of everything, so it might be a little bit longer than usual, so maybe get some coffee or something to snack on. I'm gonna start prepping my skin with the Glossier Super Bounce Serum. I talked about this in my last video. It really gets my skin ready for the moisturizer and adds just this really nice layer of hydration. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is not only slightly exfoliating, but it really brings moisture to the skin. It kind of like grabs it out of the air and just attracts it right to your face. So that's like a nice cooling prepping serum. And I'm gonna just top it off with the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I find that when products are created to work together, they really, you re it really shows. And um, when you're going to an event and you want your skin to look like really, really hydrated and even, I would go for a little like two, four product that combo. So if you're like into Clinique or you're into Glossier like me or any number of brands, I would just do like two of their prepping things. Maybe if it's like a facial mist, I know Shantikai makes the most incredible rose facial mist. They actually use real roses for it and it smells so, so, so good. Um, Anyway, <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna use, I haven't tried this yet, but it's the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I got a little sample of it, and I'm gonna just squeeze, ooh, that's pretty. It's like a pearly color. Let's see what that looks like. I'm actually really into beauty samples that are mini because I like trying so many things, and it can be expensive to just buy the full-size product, so, if you ever see me at Sephora, I am the girl that like is in the way of the line because I'm looking at all the miniature stuff and I love those. This feels really good. The nice thing about an illuminating primer is it will give you a little bit of glow and if you're one of these, I'm like, I used to be super oily and glow was not my friend, but now that I'm dry I like a little glow because I'm used to my oily skin and I actually used to like getting a little bit dewy throughout the day. so. Um, now I'm adding it back in with that. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is, of course, obviously, my Makeup Forever HD stick. So I'm just gonna, because I'm, I'm going to a holiday party tonight and I want this to stay on all day. This color is actually, I'm like getting really, really pale. So this is my like last use of my summer shade. So I'm gonna buff this in really well and take it down the neck a little bit and then I will highlight with a concealer over it so it doesn't look like it's the wrong shade. Like this shade is fine and it blends in really, really well, but um, I definitely need to update that. And I think that's one thing I remember speaking about with a lot of my makeup clients is like two colors of foundation. What are you, crazy? I can't buy two different colors of foundation. But actually, if you really want your skin to look natural, which, I mean, isn't that the goal with makeup? Like, you want it to look as natural as possible and look like your skin, and like, step one of people not knowing or like noticing that you're wearing makeup is that it matches your skin perfectly. So I always test that color like right here because really you want it to match your neck. And I'm gonna just take this down the neck. Another thing you can do if you haven't bought your winter color yet, not only take it down the neck, but what I'm gonna do is pop a little bit of that primer, just like a little dot of it, pea-sized amount, in my hands. And I'm going to put a little bit of the Glossier Perfecting Tint, this, because this has a little bit of color in it, but not much, it's pretty sheer. What this is gonna do is give my neck 
a little bit of tint and it'll kind of just make it look nice in photos. You might want to do this without your shirt that you're wearing to the party on, <laughs> note to self. Um, but what that'll do is just give you like a little bit of a base. Oh, brush the eyebrows up. I feel like that just makes you look so awake. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is put on the concealer. So I'm gonna use the Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Complete Concealer with, it's the color light. This on its own is way too light for me right now, but if I stripe it on, this applicator makes you wanna just like paint your whole face with it. It's really soft and kind of moves everywhere. This is another way people do contouring. This is like contouring without the contour color. You can just do the, the highlighting part and it'll bring a lot of light to your skin and make you look kind of bright eyed and bushy tailed as they say. So same brush, this is my go-to lately for my foundation, the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. So you might be thinking to yourself, it looks like I'm putting two layers of foundation on, but this concealer is so lightweight. All it's really doing is color correcting the foundation that was a, like one shade too dark. So now I'm like looking a little more even. And I'm not going to do under eye concealer yet because the eye look I'm doing is kind of has a little bit of sparkle in it and in case any of that falls down I want to be able to wipe it away pretty easily. If your lids are not oily you can skip this step. This is just something I do to keep the eyeshadow from creasing. I apply it with the doe foot applicator and just rub it all the way up and then I take a little under here too because my eyes water a lot and I noticed recently when I get really excited or if I'm telling somebody a story or if I'm meeting people for the first time, my eyes tear. It's like my tell that I'm excited slash nervous at the same time. And they just tear everywhere uncontrollably. So the more products that I can use to keep things on my face in social situations, the better. So I'm gonna let that dry. It's not super tacky, it actually feels really, really smooth, but wait, I need to put some lip balm on. My lips are so dry right now. I love this stuff. It's the Cary Gran Lip Whip. I could literally rub it on my lips all day long. It's like butter. Okay, this is new to me. I've used these before, but I haven't used this shade. So it's the Laura Mercier uh, Caviar Stick Eye Color. And this is the shade Rose Gold. Perfect, cute, look how cute this is. I got this as a sample in the Sephora Play uh, monthly subscription box, which is a great investment. It's $10 a month and you get personalized recommendations. I've done other beauty boxes in the past, but I really think the Sephora one is on point. I don't know if they look at like your previous purchases or what you like, what you've like liked on their website and added to your little loves section, but they have sent me stuff that I've been so excited about. Um, and I like trying minis, as I mentioned. So I'm gonna put this right on top of that eye primer. And I'm gonna go right up to the brow bone, because for this look, it's not gonna be about any darkness or any shadow. It's gonna be about that shine and like a really, really pretty um, bright eye. So I want it to go a little higher because my eyes are hooded and you can't really see the color unless I put it a little bit on the brow bone because when my eyes open, you really don't see anything. So after doing this uh, stick color, that's just giving me the base and I'm going for a gold eye and there's a few different ways you can choose a gold. Um, I think when you think of gold, a lot of times you might think of like this, like this beautiful sort of 24 karat gold. This, and, um, you can also do a color like this gold here, another like 24 karat, really like yellowy gold. But I'm actually gonna go for more of a champagne tone. I think that just suits my skin color. So depending on where you range in your, um, in your skin tone, if you're more fair, I would go for something that's more like champagne, um, beige with like shot through with a shimmer, like a gold or a silver shimmer. 
And then if you're a deeper skin tone, go for more of those like really 24 karat gold shades and they'll really pop against your skin. So the one I'm gonna go for today is this color called Fifth Ave right here. And this is from the uh, Mario Master Palette, but you can find um, golds like this everywhere. And I will be sure to link a few different options for you um, just to peek at since you can't get this one anymore. But I'm just gonna take a, I really want this to look pretty washed over. So I'm gonna use this um, Smashbox brush. It does just a really nice dusting of color. So I'm gonna take the shadow. I'm gonna start in the middle of the eye because I really wanna get that reflective light right on the lid. As close to the lashes as you can. You see how amazing that color is. Blend it all the way up to where we applied that, um, that primer color to give you a little bit of sparkle by the brow bone. And I'm not gonna apply anything under the brow. I don't want it to look um, kind of 80s <laughs> with a lot of shimmer under there. The only thing I might do is put a tiny bit of a cream highlighting product because it is holiday after all. And for a nighttime event, I like to have a little sheen there, but I'm not gonna take any other shadow colors up there. I'm gonna take an eyeliner, where is that? There it is. The Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. I've used this one before in another video, but I just love this color. It's a really coppery brown. And I'm going to just take it on the outer edge just to give my eye shape the illusion of being a little more cat-like, I'm also gonna take it under. So if you just hold the pencil right at the edge of your eye and draw it out a little, and then do the same thing, take it from that edge and draw it under, just a little bit of the way, it'll just kind of close it off and make it look a little more feline without adding liner all over the lid because what you really want is this to be bright and sparkly and like glittery because <laughs> it's fun. So this is just going to give a little shape to that outer edge of my eye. This is also a great trick if your eyes are narrow and you find them to be a little bit closer set what that liner trick is gonna do is make them look a little further apart and a little bit bigger. So I like that trick. I'm just gonna blend that in with a, another Smashbox brush. It's just like this one and it's, it's pretty dense so it'll just diffuse that a little and make it a little bit softer because we're not really doing it to get a harsh line. I just want that teeny bit of color. Oops, I forgot to put some down here. I've tried doing eyeliner with my mouth closed. I just, it's hard. <laughs> it's really, really hard. And I remember just being little and looking at my mom put her eyeliner on and being like, why is her mouth open? But now I get it. So when it's the holidays and it's a nighttime party, I'm all about a little glitter. And the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita palette, which I already had, has this gorgeous, amber bronzy glitter and the way that she created this product is so that it's applied with fingers so the, it just really like sticks right onto fingers um so i rub it a few times and like the warmth of my skin really picks up the product i don't know if that can focus but then what i'm gonna do is just place it so i'm using my pinky oh yeah do you see that So I got plenty in the inner corner where I wanted it. I'm just gonna put a little more there. Just on that lower part of the lid, as much as I can keep my pinky. That's why I'm using my pinky because it's the smallest finger and it gives me the most control where I'm putting it. And you will have tons of glitter on your fingers so don't get it on your shirt. Okay, and then mascara, okay. Curl the lashes, always, always curl the lashes right at the root. Then 
Then I'm going to tight line. Tight lining is when you take a nice waterproof pencil and get it um, on that membrane right below the top lashes. So I kind of come around, take my eyebrow with my three fingers, pull up slightly, and draw it on. And do you see how it just made that little bit of darkness there without taking away from our bright glitter? Same thing. It helps to look away in the opposite direction. Um, oops, got it on my eyelid. Okay, that's okay. What I'm gonna do is take a brush in a twisting motion, rub it away. Okay. This is good, I'm actually glad this happened so I can show you what to do if that happens to you. So I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I used to apply the first shadow color. I'll just smudge it off a bit. Put a little more gold. And it's gone. Look at that. I'm gonna add a little gold over here, just so they look even. Evenly gold. Lovely. Okay, so this takes practice. I mean, if you're gonna tight line, honestly, I wish my mirror was a teensy bit closer. But the nice thing is if you're looking in the opposite direction to where the pencil is, your eye won't get so like quivery and running with water. So the one I'm using is the Marc Jacobs um, Highliner Gel Crayon and it's just the black one. I really like this. It's a twist up so you don't have to worry about uh, sharpening it, which is great when you want to just throw it in your bag. And then on the bottom lash line, I really want to brighten my eyes, so any of the black that came down, I'm just going to wipe away. And I'm going to take this Nude Sticks Magnetic Eye Color in the shade Moon. Mine's a little grimy, but what I'm going to do is just put this on this waterline on the bottom to open up my eye make it appear a little brighter. I wouldn't normally do this for daytime because it could look a little strong, but for nighttime, if you're gonna be in like dim lighting, it's really nice. It makes your eyes look super wide. If you get any on your eyelashes, just slide your finger over it and it'll just get covered with mascara anyway. Okay, and I think that is it for my lids. So I'm just gonna take the, um, L'Oreal mascara, the voluminous mascara. Oops, dropping stuff. Put this on. This is the carbon black. Really like this drugstore mascara. Huge fan. So what we did with that tight lining is just going to give our lashes a nice thick appearance. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to do the concealer under the eyes. And I'm going to take my trusty NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. When you wear glitter, fallout is just like part of the deal, so just know that's going to happen. If not, don't add the glitter, just wear the shimmery shadow. And I'm going to just buff this in with a Real Techniques foundation brush. This one has a little point to it, so it's really good for getting right here under the eye and always make sure to take it on this inner part of the nose. Now I'm going to be doing a bold lip with this look so I want the under eye to be as clean and bright as possible which is why I'm taking my time blending it and I'm also going to go back in and I'm noticing that I'm getting a little red around my nose and that just might be some of the oil setting in so I'm just going to take a few dots of that concealer from Urban Decay that I used earlier. And I'm just gonna dot that around my nose so that some of that redness goes away. This one is so lightweight that even if you did a little bit more of it than you originally planned, you're not gonna feel it or look like it's like settling into your skin. I'm gonna do a little more on my chin again. While well, my camera battery was dead, I had a little something to eat, so. 
It's always good to conceal after eating around the mouth. <laughs> okay, I'm also going to do a little bit of lip balm. I love the Cary Grand uh, lip tint. I'm just gonna dot a little bit of this, especially right here in the middle. I feel like that's where most people get dry. And I'm just gonna let that sit and sink in and I might wipe off the excess before I do my lip color so it doesn't feel too shiny. And I'm gonna move on to brows. I'm gonna do the Anastasia Brow Wiz and Taupe. Brush up my brow. And draw in some little hairs into the spots that are missing. I've been listening to Harry Connick Jr.'s Christmas albums on repeat. I just love his voice and I grew up listening to them so it's sort of like makes me feel like it's Christmas time. He's from New Orleans and he has a wonderful like soul vibe to his music. I remember going to mass at this church in New York City called Our Lady of Good Counsel. It's up on um, East 90th Street between 1st and 2nd Avenue. And one day, one of the priests was talking about um, how there was this man that came. He had just moved to New York. He was like 20 years old, really young, didn't know his way around the city. But he came there for Mass and he asked the priest if he could play piano um, for the Sunday Masses. And so he did, and, and that was sort of how he like made friends and got to know the neighborhood and shared his talent of song with everybody. And it was Harry Connick Jr. So I thought that was pretty cool, how he got his start moving to New York, not knowing anybody, but wanting to pursue a music career. And um, I think that priest felt pretty cool that he got to know him when he was really starting out. It's kind of awesome. Anyway. Harry, I love your Christmas music. You're probably not watching this, but in case you are. <laughs> uh, let's see what's gonna be next. I'm gonna leave the brows, I think, at that. I kinda wanna put on some fake lashes. I think I will. Just a little bit on the corners. If you do wanna do fake lashes, just grab a tweezer, get yourself some duo glue. They make it in black and clear. They're both great, I don't know, I don't mind either one. Um, and I usually get the individuals from Ardell. They come in like a little pack like this. And if you can find the ones, the short, these are the medium, the short ones are great because you can just put them anywhere and nobody can even see them, they just add a nice fullness. I'm gonna just take a couple, so I'm pulling it off with my tweezer and I'm gonna put a tiny bit of the duo glue so, oh, I lost it. Not gonna get that right now. Get another one. Okay, put a little duo glue on the tip of there. The thing with lashes, if you haven't had success in the past, it could be the glue you're using. So if you're using the glue that comes with it, that could be why, honestly. Sometimes they're just not that good. Um, so I would go and get a duo glue. They sell them everywhere. Target, uh, Walgreens, everywhere. Sephora has it too. All right, letting it dry, letting it get a little tacky and I was blowing on it and I'm just gonna apply it. Oopsie. You gotta use tweezers because that's how you get the most. Yep, put it right there. And make sure you're holding them in your tweezer the way that you're gonna be sticking them on. So I don't know if you can see, but that's just giving me the slightest little bit of feathery goodness at the edge of my eye. And that's just with two. I think I'm just gonna do two on each side, right at the edge. And I'm just pushing it in with my finger so it just gets really close to the lash line. Individual lashes are great if you're just starting out and you've never tried false lashes before because if you don't like the way it looks, you can just take it off really easily. 
and I think they're just a little more user-friendly. By doing a little tiny bit of bronzing contouring before I do the lip color, I'm going to use the Real Techniques, where are you? Their contouring brush, and this is the Kevin Aquan uh, Contour Palette, the 4-in-1 Face Essentials. It's limited edition, they have it on Sephora, but it was a great buy. Um, I think it was around $60, and you get the Sculpt, a beautiful pink sparkly highlight, a bronzer, and a blush, and I've been using this every single day. The Sculpt shade is in medium, but I think it's, you can definitely get away with it for a lot of different skin tones. So I'm gonna do my hairline. It's just a nice, taupey, mushroomy color, so you're not gonna get and too orangey of a look. Right into the hairline, literally. I'm just massaging it in. I'm gonna do a little bit here, over there, and just work that in. Little, tiny, circular motions right into the hairline. And I'm stopping about there where my brow is because I don't want it to come too far forward just for the slightest contour. You can do a little on either side of your chin, give a little bit sharper jaw. And I'm gonna do the tiniest bit right on my nose, just cause it's fun. It's fun playing with makeup. Okay. I'll see if I wanna add blush at the end with the red lip, I'm not really sure. Okay, so I'm just gonna take off a tiny bit of this balm that was on my lips. And I'm doing a red, and I'm going to line my lips first because I've been noticing I'm getting some feathering. So I'm sharpening it. This is the MAC Cherry Lip Pencil. This is a great red. And I always start with the top lip because that helps me get the shape, and then I just do the bottom. Um, this is important, the lining is important because it gives you a map for where to put the lipstick. It keeps everything kind of like in that boundary. And I'm going to highlight my Cupid's bow area. I know there's a big trend right now where you kind of just ignore that it's there and make the lips look more fuller and round, but I really like the 40s, uh, you know, Marilyn Monroe kind of style. Or I think of like Ava Gardner. You don't have to press hard with this pencil, by the way, especially if your lips are really hydrated. When you go down with the pencil, you're gonna get a fuller lip. If you start at the corner and come up, you're gonna get a thinner lip. So keep that in mind and to see how you're doing it. Get all the way to the inner corner of your lip. And then once it's drawn, go over it again. You have to have a steady hand to do this. I remember when I was doing my friend's wedding makeup last year, or this, this year in February, my hand was shaking a little bit because I was a little nervous. I hadn't done makeup in a while after having a baby. And I was doing red lip liner on her and my hand was like, Ugh. I was getting so embarrassed because it kept making little quiver marks. So pull your lips in to see where the base of your lip is so you get an accurate line. And then line the rest. You can hold the side of the pencil on your lip and drag it so you get a little bit more um, steadiness or you can use your pinky on your chin. And then I'm going to cut 
color it in. Most of the way. You could just wear this pencil on its own. It's really pretty. But I have a few different reds and I'm not sure which one I want to wear. I have the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro, which is more like a stain and it really is a great stain. You only need a little bit amount and then let it dry, make put a coat and let it dry and it really stays on all night. Then I have the NARS Matte Velvet Lip Pencil in Cruella, a little bit deeper of a red. And I have, this is more of an orangey red, it's called Rita, it's the NARS Audacious Lipstick. The packaging is lim limited edition, but the color is not. Love the formula of that. I actually might wear that one, I'll see. And then I also have MAC Ruby Woo, which is such a classic red. It's this one here. Let's see if I can see what I'm doing. A little more of a drier formula, so um, it'll really stay on too, but if your lips tend to get dry, just know that um, this one might dry them out a tiny bit. And let's see, what am I gonna go for? Oh, and I also have my little Tom Ford Cherry Lush, which is such a gorgeous color too. I would say it's more of a pinky red though. It's that one at the bottom. All good options. So if you guys are looking for some reds, I will link all these down below so you can check them out. But I would say these are all pretty universal because they're, they're fairly neutral, but they're just incredible lip products. If you're looking for like one classic red, try one of these. I think I wanna play up the kind of goldy tone, so I'm gonna go with the NARS, which is a little more of an orangey red, but still really red. And then if you find that there's a little bit going outside of where you don't want it to be, take your clean pinky, go like this and just swipe it down. And then what you can do is go back with your liner. And make that a little bit more sharp. Okay, so that, oh no, I didn't highlight. Oh my gosh, you can't go anywhere without highlighting, especially not for a party. I'm gonna use the Glossier Halo Scope because it's really dewy and it looks really natural. You could just use, you know, a powder one too, but I don't have one on me right now. I love how this looks and it's so easy to apply. I just literally make that little C shape. And Look at that. Use a clean finger, blend it out. You could put a tiny bit right above the point arch of your brow, tiny bit on this bridge of the nose. So a little blush, take down my hair, crazy hair. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of whey, wave spray just on the bottom. I keep my hair up in a bun so it makes it kind of crazy, which I do on purpose. And then find the part. If you want to, you can add a really fun headband. I got this one from Anthropology. It's a gold, it's actually metal. And I love that it makes me feel like a princess. So that is my finished holiday party. Get ready with me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll link everything down below so you guys can check out these products. They're all really awesome. I hope all of you have a wonderful holiday season and thank you again for watching. I will see you again in my next video.